Hello, I'm Lee Chantel and I've been asked a lot about why I'm deleting my social media profiles. So here's a video about that for you. Um, to clarify, I'm deleting all my Viva La Vegan social media profiles except my YouTube channel and that includes Twitter, Facebook, um, Google+, Instagram, Pinterest and maybe some others that I don't know off the top of my head. And um, in case you're not aware, my website vivalavegan.net has been going for over a decade and originally it started because someone suggested that I start a new website. I already had my leeshontel.com website online that was primarily about all my music. I was going to be a rock star at one stage. And I had just finished my naturopathy course and I wanted to release a, a recipe calendar. And I thought that would be easy, only 12 recipes, but of course, you know, they take a bit longer than you think, any creative endeavor. And um, that was the beginning of Viva La Vegan. So that was the end of 2005. So the first calendar was 2006. And um, after I released the calendar, a lot of people suggested things to me. So instead of just putting it on my Lee Chantel website, they wanted recipes or videos or blogs. So as each person or people or group suggested new things to me, I added those. So it really became a bit of a um, feedback driven website and pretty much the majority of stuff that's on the website now is based on what people have requested or suggested over the years like from the search bar to we used to have a forum for example and interviews with vegan athletes which is, is what my best selling book at this, at this stage. Just have a look vegan athletes book if you don't know what I'm talking about. So um, all of that though was never planned. I never planned to have a vegan website, I never planned to be a vegan spokesperson, I never planned to travel and give talks to people about veganism, I never planned to make videos and blogs and podcasts and stuff like that. It just happened very organically. So the first aspect of um, the reasoning for me is that this was never planned and the vegan animal rights stuff that I've done for almost um, two decades has um, sort of did take over my life for a while and to the detriment of a lot of other things in my life. I've only realized that the past year or so and if you haven't seen my video on what would you do if the world was already vegan I suggest you take a look at that and see the things that I've been doing the past year and um, so I also think that there's a lot of people out there who really enjoy the stuff that you pretty much need to do for websites nowadays um, a lot of people love writing blogs, doing podcasts, taking selfies, doing videos of themselves at whatever whatever they go to or wherever they go to. Um, I just I'm not really interested in that sort of stuff. I'm you know I'm trying to be on devices less and on screens less, and that's um, when I have to do those sort of things. It's adding into that time that I'm already online for work and for study, and I don't want to add anything else to that. I also feel that when I started promoting veganism and speaking about veganism, there wasn't anyone else who really wanted to be a spokesperson. There was a lot of awesome people doing a lot of really great stuff, and there still is. But, you know, there, it was very hard to get people at that stage to talk because not many people liked public speaking. And based on my music background, I was quite happy to be on stage, quite happy to talk, quite happily to do all that sort of stuff. So I was quite... Um, so that was really easy for me to do. And um, once I knew all the information and I'd been vegan for a while, then it was, it was quite, um, I guess, obvious for me to do. And um, but yeah, now I'm quite happy for all the other people who find joy in those things and who are, you know, maybe have a bit more passion and enthusiasm about the movement at the moment. Also, um, 
I'm finding it really hard to be part of a movement that I have a lot of dilemmas with. Um, there's a bit of a cult mentality at the moment and there's a lot of division and there's a lot of hate and I personally don't really want to be involved in any of that so I'm quite happy to take myself away from that and um, my website vivalavegan.net will still be online and there's a heap of information on there in this this um, YouTube channel I might put some videos up here and there and I'll be um, sending out emails to my mailing list at least once a year I can't really um, commit to much more than that maybe maximum would be every quarter for example um, so yeah I'm still doing things I'm still doing veganism I'll still be vegan I'm still doing a lot of speaking and consulting but it's not just necessarily about the vegan stuff and yeah my my passions now are online a lot of the online stuff and the te tech related stuff so that's what I like speaking about now and consulting people about and I feel that when I first um, started being the vegan spokesperson that it was to educate people about veganism you know lots of people would say vegan and you know at least people know how to say vegan now or know how to pronounce quinoa and I don't so I, I wanted to promote veganism and get it into the mainstream and I think you know that that it's there now maybe people don't necessarily understand the ethical aspects of it a lot of, a lot of its plant-based related stuff but um, I think that's based on you know some other things that they have to educate themselves a bit and they have to get involved in in the movement and some other aspects of it and um, yeah so I don't really think that my skill sets are as necessary now and also you know with my events background I put on a couple of big vegan festivals in Brisbane Queensland Australia where I live or have lived and um, I think there's a lot of people that are just doing smaller events quite on a regular basis and that's really helped the movement. It's showing people there's a lot of awesome things that are happen happening continually where people can get to know each other. There's a bit of a networking community vibe happening. So there's a lot of cool stuff happening and I'm happy to be honest to let other people do it and to um, pass on the baton to other people and you know people that um, haven't been vegan for as long like I um, I'll be 22 years vegan next January and just people that um, feel the passion and have a lot of stuff that they feel they need to say I think I've said a lot of my stuff I I don't really have much more that I need to share with the world in regards to the vegan animal rights movement to be honest and also um, if you like I was mentioning that video about what would you do if the world was already vegan I have just been reassessing a lot of the things in my life that I have believed were my um, core missions or the things that I should do or where my energy needed to go and that's just completely changed I have prioritized different things so um, like I said before online stuff is not where my priorities lie anymore and you know when I consult and speak to people about you know digital detoxes and you know using digital media instead of using people and you know don't letting it run your life you know all those sort of things I'm speaking to people about I want to really show other people by um, you know by example that you can do it or and that I'm doing it as well I'm still keeping my Le Chantel Twitter page which that's my favorite and I'm also keeping my Le Chantel Facebook page at the moment so I, I really don't like Facebook I'd like to get rid of that one day but there's still a lot of people who contact me via my page at the moment so and the YouTube channels will still remain so I'll still be contactable you can still get me through my websites it's not a drama but yeah I'm just trying to focus more on things that bring me joy and online communication it doesn't really give me any joy at all and I need to focus on my other priorities and that's my study I'm doing my Bachelor of Psychology Honours at Griffith University and I aim to be a lecturer in Cyber Psychology. So that's my main focus and it will be for the next few years at least.
and you know, fitness, exercise, hanging out with friends and family, they're my, they're my priorities and um, setting up myself financially because um, the, the stuff that I've done for the past 20 years with the vegan and animal rights um, volunteer work that I've done has really taken a toll on a lot of, a lot of things in my life and I didn't really notice that until about a year ago when I decided to change things. So um, I hope that has answered your question and yeah let me know if you have any other questions or you know any tips if you need to also break the cycle of your online addictions and um, yeah have a look at my vivalavegan.net website and there's a heap of other videos on my YouTube channel that you can have a look at and I look forward to seeing you hopefully in person and have a one-on-one -on -one discussion because that's what I love I love um, great you know um, in-depth conversations with people in person I know that's hard for a lot of my family and my friends who live overseas but um, that's what I love so hopefully I'll speak to you sometime soon otherwise have a great week